If string theory is right, the shape of this blob determines the laws of physics of our universe. It's called a Kalabi Yao manifold, so strap in because we're about to take a deep dive. As you might well know by now, string theory is pretty strange. It doesn't just live in the four dimensions of space-time that we live in, three of space, one of time. In order for string theory to really work, it has to live in ten space-time dimensions, and we just don't see that in our everyday life. So how do we get there? Well, we take those six extra dimensions and curl them up into little, tiny balls. They're so tiny that we wouldn't notice them at all, but the strings of string theory are tinier still, and so they could wrap around these complex shapes in numerous different ways. And it's precisely the way that those super strings wrap around the extra dimensions that determines our laws of physics, things like the masses of the fundamental particles, the charges, etc. So if we want any hope of testing string theory, it's vitally important to figure out what kind of shape those extra dimensions have. Now, if those extra dimensions were really boring, like our large three dimensions are, there wouldn't be a whole lot of ways that those strings could wrap around them. But there's good theoretical reason to suspect that in fact, those extra dimensions are very complicated. Those are the kalabi yau manifolds. These kalabi yau manifolds have the special property that they satisfy Einstein's field equations for gravity. Beyond that though, they also have a property called SU3 holonomy. What that basically means is that if you were to drag an arrow around on those six-dimensional manifolds in a closed loop, only certain things could happen to the arrow as you do so. And the reason why we want the extra dimensions to have these properties is because it's precisely these properties that allow us to have supersymmetry still preserved in our superstring theory. And that's necessary because it wouldn't be superstring theory if there were no supersymmetry. But it's looking more and more likely that supersymmetry is just not part of our universe, at least not at the low energies that we can probe with particle colliders like the Large Hadron Collider. It might still be the case that supersymmetry exists in our universe, just that it's spontaneously broken, much like the Higgs mechanism. But in that case, we wouldn't need kalabi yau manifolds to describe the six extra dimensions. We could have something else. But it's a cool idea, isn't it?